Hi everyone and welcome to the Witch Doctor's Guide to ServiceNow. This is a light version video I guess. I'll just skip the powerpoints and all that because this is just a, just a simple show and tell of a question I got and it will almost take more time to actually do the powerpoint presentation than actually showing what it is. So the question is how do I let me just move my window so I can see what I am showing. And here we go. So the question was, how can I show or hide a multi-row variable set on, on the catalog form? And I just throw in as well, how can I make the multi-row variable set mandatory, meaning that you need to have at least one row before being able to submit the item. So I just built a normal catalog item I have one variable set, a multi row variable set. I'll just throw in one uh, checkbox to be able to trigger functionality. And let me show how it looks like. And this one is, you don't need it. I can just remove it. I just tested it script wise as well, but we don't need the script to do this. So let's remove that one. Here we go. So I got my catalog item through the portal. I'll just reload. And now we can see it's loading without any multi variable set. I'll just click on this one. And now you can see it. You can see it's mandatory. So if I click all now, it will complain. But if I add a row like that, you can see it's not mandatory anymore. Uh, let's just make sure if I remove it, it's back to mandatory. So very simple solution. And you can actually do it with a UI policy, just like you do with normal values. Remember that this UI policy needs to be on the item, not inside the variable set to work. So I basically just built non-coding UI policy. Here is my normal variable, you know, the, the checkbox you have over here. Just to be able to trigger it, so you can see it. Let's go back. Here's your policy. That's the wrong one. Here we are. So you can see the, the conditions are just is this field is true, then it should work. It's only also checked on load. So when the form loads or the catalog item loads, it will go through this your, your policy to know what to do. Yeah. And basically I just created a your policy action. And like everything else, just check that the mandatory is true, the visibility is true, meaning that if the checkbox is checked, it should get mandatory, it should be visible. If it's not checked, then it should not be mandatory, it should not be visible. Remember, if you do the mandatory some other way, you need to make sure it's not mandatory when you try to hide it, because you can't hide fields that are mandatory. Uh, hmm, I haven't tried this one. So the video is almost done. Let's just see this one if I can actually clear the whole multi row variable set. I have no clue. So let's check that one. So normally this one clears the field when it's true. So let's see if I'll reload. I'll show the variable set, I'll add a row, so now if I uncheck and check it again, it should come up empty, if that checkbox work. My guess is sadly it doesn't, let's see. No, it, it did, huh, that's nice. So we can actually add to this video how to clear a multi row variable set. So if I go in and uncheck that checkbox, go back, reload, show it, add a row, nice erg, show hard, and it's still there. So the checkbox works as well. So that was this quick video and what I showed was how to hide or show a multi row variable set, how to make it mandatory so you need to have at least one row to actually um, 
uh, be able to submit the, the catalog item. And last thing actually, how to clear the whole multiple variable set if something else conditions to true. In this case, the check field was true, was false. No, was true. <laughs> so that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you soon when I find uh, the stop recording button.